Raquel Fajardo. I uh, work as the regional barber manager for Fellow Barber. I've been cutting hair for about 12 years, 11 and a half years. I started, you know, in cosmetology and I really just started, you know, being obsessed with beards and short hair and kind of migrated into official barbering. There's, um, you know, there's a level of intimacy when you do hair. It's just like when you're meeting a new friend, you know, you, you kind of build trust. I used to live um, in the Tenderloin, which if people don't even know San Francisco, they know the Tenderloin for some, for some interesting reason. Uh, but that area, um, oddly, it was kind of one of my favorite areas that I've ever lived. <laughs> Uh, and you know, some people avoid it, like the plague. I was in a weird place with my personal life and I really just needed to connect. Um, and I walked to work every day, passing all of my neighbors. Um, you know, they, I would sit and talk with them or just like chit chat or say good morning. And then it just kind of turned into like, you need a haircut. <laughs> like you, your beard is like insane. The perspective of someone who is unhoused is more vast than someone who's been privileged all their lives. And so when we have, you know, someone who's on the street getting their hair cut, I mean, they've lived like 50 lives that we couldn't even probably survive one of. They paid with gifts of love and gratitude and acceptance and it didn't really matter that I wasn't getting paid for each and every haircut with money because I was getting you know so much love and connection with these people 